He's known as one of the nicest guys in the EuroLeague. You may also know him as... Jesus uh, here, the painter, but I stick with Gigi. Luigi Di Tomma, who arrived in Istanbul from Boston last season, isn't your typical basketballer. He's Fenerbahce's Italian talisman. Passion for coffee, passion for pasta, you know, he's driving a Fiat. Uh, yes, before leaving the hotel or before leaving home, I take some espresso just to wake up a little bit. Yeah. You can't miss him. The 29-year-old has his very own patented look. But for how much longer? Actually, I'm starting to lose my hair, so as long as I'm going to have it, I'm going to enjoy it. And when he lets his hair down... Then now, if you see me, I look very good, but I'm not. Uh, nothing. Uh, it's just some, some of these things to don't think about anything else and just um, rest the mind and the body. And music isn't his only off-court interest. Uh, sometimes I like to go in uh, some galleries and some uh, modern art uh, expositions. Uh, not because I'm a great intenditor, but I like to know something more. Always with a book in his hands. Uh, he's always a very active student of uh, wherever he goes. I I'm pretty sure that he knows Istanbul better than the average person who lives in Istanbul. Fener's Italian general manager knows the Sardinian raised swingman better than most. Uh, I've known him for a long time. I think the first time I met him on a basketball court, he was probably 14 or 13 or 14. So sometimes I, you know, I look at him and he's, uh, you know, I feel like he's one of those sons. And how about the story around his well-worn footwear? I think uh, I saw him changing his. Uh, his shoes for the first time after a couple of years. You know, today players are changing shoes, models every couple of months. No, no, he stays with his, it's his, it's his personality. Talent has taken the Italian captain across the Atlantic and back. And all the way to the EuroLeague final last season. On the court you can see that uh, he's a very quality guy. He uh, can do many things. He's an amazing shooter. But it's his relaxed personality that will help him recover from his biggest disappointment. Now that uh, some month passed and still hurt, for sure, because there's a big difference between win and lose a, a final. It's not easy to do it again, to be there in Final Four again, as we've seen. Uh, but that's the goal. A Turkish team has never lifted the title but Datoma is determined to make a little history.